How have precious metal markets been manipulated? Over the past few years, JP Morgan, Scotiabank, Deutsche Bank, Merrill Lynch, UBS, and HSBC have paid to settle cases that charged traders of spoofing precious metals markets. Spoofing is when a trader places an order with the intent to cancel it. A trader can engage in spoofing by placing an order to buy, which creates the illusion of high demand, pushing the price up. Or a trader can place an order to sell, creating the illusion of high supply, pushing the price down. The bottom line is, banks have settled cases regarding spoofing in the precious metals markets. But spoofing by itself does not indicate long-term price suppression. For one, as noted, spoofing can be used to push markets up as well as down. And spoofing probably doesn't have a long-term impact on price. Therefore, it remains a matter of debate whether there has been long-term price suppression. Regardless of whether there's been a conspiracy to suppress the price of precious metals, there remain solid reasons to own physical gold and silver. Click here to watch this less than two minute video that explains six quick reasons to own precious metals.